say I didn't want nothing big. I said I didn't want a blender big. That's what I said. Get it right. Get it right. Just a memory. I want to see all my people win, and we know that. Oh, you then I got you to the end, and you snow that. Everybody used to show me love. Where it go at? I was born to shine. I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my... Oh snap now. Good greetings my kindreds. Welcome back to another video. Your girl's gonna be doing something a little lot of bit different today. I like to do things a little lot of bit different and y'all know you can just like to be in the kitchen. I like to cook, I like to make drinks, I like to do all that good stuff. So I figured it'd be great for me to get some tips from an actual chef. So Tyler Thomas, who is a traveling chef here in Atlanta, he gonna be coming around here and showing me around my own goddamn kitchen, okay? So we're about to go to the grocery store right now and pick up some things. I don't know exactly what we're cooking tonight, but we about to go downstairs and do my found out. Y'all know I gotta get cute going to the grocery store. <laughs> so I got this top from Zara about a year ago, around, around this time actually. These um, shorts I think are from I want to say H&M, but I had them for like a very long time as well. I think I had these shorts since like 2012, honestly. Oh, matter of fact, I got these in 2014 um, when I was in um, A school. And then this purse, y'all seen this already, and then these slides are also from Zara. Cute. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Introduce yourself. Oh, so um, I am Chef Tyler Thomas. Uh, born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama. Just moved to Atlanta about two years ago. Went to culinary school at Johnson and & Wales. And um, here we are. All right, so we're gonna do a budget. Mm -hmm. we're, gonna, we're working with a what? $25 budget. It's, it's, it's a pandemic friendly gourmet meal. So we, we, we're gonna say, we're gonna save $25. Let, let, let's see if we can make it happen. Let's see if we can make it happen. Figure out how we're gonna do this. Like, which meal we're gonna go with? Are we gonna go? I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and split the beans. So, we got pesto salmon, roasted cauliflower mash, and just whatever vegetable we can find in the budget. Or we're gonna do chicken parmesan with a little linguine pasta. Mm -hmm. So, just really trying to figure out what I'm feeling right now. Alright, so, you know, we're a little bougie. We can't do this with the can sauce. Like, it just wouldn't be very chefly if we used the can sauce. So, I'm gonna show y'all how you make the real sauce. Oh, uh -huh. ready? What? Uh, what do you Not the real sauce from scratch. Yeah, the real sauce, the real one. You know, we like half Italian, half black, half Mexican. Have you ever had to put a pack of chicken back just because another pack was chicken? Well, if you didn't, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> you see, 575, mm -hmm. I had the 665. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I feel you on that one. You feel what I'm So we got this thick cut chef blend, sharp cheddar, gouda, and a soggy old cheese. It's gonna be perfect. We're gonna mix it with some mozzarella as well. You wanna use the same brand or no? Uh, nah, we're gonna, we, 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 we been cheap, so we're gonna, we're gonna use a lot. We been cheap, so we're gonna use a lot. Okay, so hey Google. Hey Google. Pause. Okay, since we're gonna be making what type of sauce? From we're scratch? doing some homemade marinara sauce from scratch. Homemade marinara sauce. The real from way. Scratch. The real way. With basil and garlic and shallots and onions and all that other good stuff. Nice. So I didn't have a blender, so I, we went to go. We went to Target to get a blender, and the blender we went with was the Nutribullet. I didn't want 
something too big and too chunky. She said so she ain't want nothing big. So hopefully this ain't big and chunky. I ain't say I didn't want nothing big. I said I didn't want a blender big. That's what I said. Get it right. 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 You dropped the blender already? It's still pretty big, but it's not bad. No shame. Sometimes it's bigger than this. Nice. Good chill with that struggling, y'all. Uh, for real. Oh, nice. That's cute, ain't it? Oh, it sucks to the. Oh, shit. Oh, hold on, let's bring this up. We're gonna have to figure this out. Hold on. There you go. That's better. And it stick to the um hold on y'all, look. It stick to the damn to the damn countertop. Real nice, real fancy. You know what I'm saying? Don't judge me. <laughs> hey, that's how you know uh, she she for real, for real grown, because you know grown people get excited about stuff like that. Right? You know what I'm saying? I mean I have a blender. You better have a blend in your goddamn chef. Okay, cute. <laughs> this is cute. I'm so excited. Where are we going to put this at? Uh, I think it would go good on this back wall over here. Hey, Google. Play. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so your girl had to change. She had to get a little, a little bit of comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And he was so kind to bring me my own apron. Wait, who told you to get that fancy dress anyway? We should look. Well, I wanted to go outside and look cute. Such a diva. Yeah. Such a diva. Alright, so what are we making? We was on a $25 budget, remember y'all? $25 budget and we made it work. Um, this meal only cost us about $22.33. So, um, yeah, it's a perfect meal for you to cook, you know. Little, little cheap meal, you feel me? But it, it's still giving, you know, like, nice restaurant. Especially if you played it nice. So, um... We're gonna do some chicken parmesan. Um, mm. Say one of our first ingredients. Of course, you gotta have the cheese. We got the mozzarella. Mm -hmm. um, we got some chicken breasts. We're gonna take these and um, you'll see what we do with them. Mm -hmm. We got the nice French bread here because what is pasta without the French bread? Um, we got the nice chef blend cheese here. The Gouda. Sharp cheddar and sakio. So I'm real big on taking I'm real big on taking, you know, your average normal dishes and elevating them. And by doing that, you just use different ingredients. So most of the time people just use mozzarella, but today we're gonna do mozzarella, sharp cheddar, gouda, and asakio. So sound fancy already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, yeah, you doing see what mozzarella. I'm saying? So we got our uh, linguine pasta. You can use any pasta. You can use spaghetti, fettuccine, linguine, you know, whatever you would like. Um, we got to have our fresh basil. You can use dry basil, but it's nothing like having it fresh. Like, like smell it, smell it. Smell the earthy. Real earthy, and, and it's just gonna smell so amazing in, in the pasta sauce. So um, we got one white onion here. Um, we have our uh, garlic and we have our shallot so a shallot yeah shallot shallot and the onions are like cousins as you can see uh -huh. it's like big cousins it's like little cousins uh -huh. but he got a lot of flavor okay. he got a little bit more flavor than the onion i need to this, start getting the shallot this like the the bougie this like the little bougie cousin this like the city cousin you feel me this like the country cousin you know what i'm saying Who, you know yeah. i need to start buying me that it's yeah. shallot i'm put it right here yeah, shallot. yeah. So we have our, oh yeah, we're not doing canned sauce, right? We, we, we do, we're making a real deal. Yeah. So we got the whole peeled tomatoes. We got the stewed tomatoes. And we also have the tomato paste. So watch us work. Oh, I'm excited, y'all. You mm -hmm. have to elevate your girl's skills. Y'all know I like to be in the kitchen. Y'all yeah, yeah, know yeah. I like, come on in. Yeah, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. what else you need, that's it? So we got our spinach, cause you know you gotta have your vegetables with some healthy kids, mm -hmm. you know. Um. Okay. <laughs> but not for real, you see that? You see that? That thing look like it's, it's damn near almost as big as yours. 
you all steroids over there, ain't it? All right, like, go ahead. All right, so first off, we're gonna start off with boiling our water. So you wanna get you a nice little pot. You wanna fill it up about um, one third to halfway. Um, you want to make sure you fill it up with cold water just because cold water gets hot faster than hot water gets hot. I just learned that from him. I forgot about that. <laughs> Boiling water with cold water mm -hmm. makes sense. So we're gonna add some sea salt into the water just to make sure that the water is flavored and salt actually makes the, um, the water boil faster. Oh. Um, we're going to create our batter for our chicken. So we're gonna take some flour, we're gonna take some of the Parmesan, we're gonna take some of the seasons that we're gonna season chicken with, and we're going to add some cornstarch and breadcrumbs for the um, the Parmesan crust chicken. Cornstarch and breadcrumbs? Mm-hmm, make it real nice and crispy. Don't tell nobody my secret now. Okay. Don't tell nobody my secret. <laughs> Don't tell nobody your secret, kid. Look, I be, I be going to the, the, the fast route. This sounds like it's about to be complicated. Yeah, no, this, this just, it's just some love put into it, that's it. It's, it's, just, it's just a little love put into it, that's yeah. it. You're going to taste it at the end, though, I promise you. All right, cool. I promise you. You're going to be like, wait, what is this? Oh. <laughs> Come on, now. I think we should pour up a glass of wine before we start, though. What you think? You want a glass of wine? Let's do a glass What's of wine. What's a good wine to have with? Red pasta. Um, so you definitely want to do like more like a, a dry wine. Um, if you want to be, you know, your foodie flow. Um, but I know a lot of your viewers, they probably do their sweet wines and things of that sort. So you can really drink. Ah, uh -uh, don't come for my kids. Why do you think my kids like sweet wine? I mean, I don't even drink sweet wine. I feel like a lot of women they drink sweet wine. You know, that's it. A lot of women just gravitate towards sweet wine. In my personal opinion, from what I've seen. So. Okay, we're gonna let him slide. We're gonna, <laughs> we gonna let him slide. Okay. So, what do you think? So, we gotta go for more of a dry red wine. Yeah, dry red wine, you know, something like this, you know, Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, so you know. he bought some Cabernet around yeah, here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we got a nice 2017 Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, Sonoma, so. You know, we're going to be drinking that today. Okay. I guess I'll do the honors and go ahead and open the net for, for the both of us while, you know, we get this together. Yeah. So I just took the knife and all I'm doing is just opening it up. You have a little wine open? Mm-hmm. Well, it's not a bitch. No, that's cool. You're going to take the legs and you're going to start to push the legs down. Mm. And then the cork going to start to come up. And then you just pull it out. Why are you gonna pull out her? <laughs> Cause how else you gonna get the wine <laughs> if you don't right, pull right, it right, out? Right. Go on, go on, go on, go on. You right, <laughs> Wait, stop. The older the wine, the better. You feel me? We 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 like mature wines. You know what I'm saying? Them young wines, you know, they can't, they can't, you can't. They can't hang. Can't, they can't. You can't do nothing with them young wines. They can't keep you with us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so first off, we're gonna start with our white onion. We gotta cut the head and the tail off. So having a sharp knife is super essential to, you know, just making the job easy. So we're gonna take the knife, cut the top off, cut the bottom. We're gonna take our knife. We're gonna go straight through the middle. And as you can see, the knife is very sharp, so it goes through very, very what smooth. What type of knives are those? Um, I can't remember. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. The brand of the knife, I'm not gonna say it matters, but it doesn't matter. You just wanna make sure you have your good knife sharpener. Okay. Um, and I have one that's over there, so. Um, just make sure that your knife is very sharp. So for this dish here, we're going to... I'm just getting beef y'all. Please don't mind me. We're going to take our knife. You see this? Yes. We're going through the middle here. Just like that. You see it's still intact because I didn't go all the way through. I went to about right here. Okay. So we're going to turn it to the side. We're going to take the knife and again go through, but not all the way through. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. And I can literally look you dead in your eyes, and not even look down, and go all the way through. And I cut yourself? Yeah. Okay. 
Mm. Okay, professional. I'm here for it. See, I messed up this part, but she made me a little nervous at the end. Now I'm nervous. Because I don't be doing all of this. You know what I'm saying? I be doing the, the, the escape route. Oh, she just be cooking the chicken, huh? Huh? I be cutting, I, I be cutting onions, but it just don't be this all detailed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she cut it however she need to. Yeah. Okay. It don't matter which way. Just don't go all the so, way through. Mm. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right there. Mm -hmm. You pull it up. You mm -hmm. turn to the side. Mm -hmm. Do my fingers like this? Yep. Okay. You want to keep your fingers like this so you can. Okay. So, like this? Yep. Okay. Fingers a little bit closer. Uh huh. Tip of the knife down first because the tip of the knife is sharper. Okay. Um. And then slide in there. Yep. Um. Oh, that's you like cool. It. Yeah, you like rocking it. Oh, I like But you want to keep it all the way. Yep. All together. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Oh yes, this is it. There you go. Oh, oh. There you go. Oh. Can I go all the way down? There you go. Oh yeah. And then what do we do? Just cut it up. Cut it up. Yeah. Try to make it look as similar to that as possible. Why does it matter if she look the same? It's not because we put it in the blender. Oh. <laughs> oh, my in eyes burn. In school, we would get graded for it, so. Okay, okay, okay. You feel me? You get yeah. graded on how cute your knife face is. No, I like that because I'm big on like every step of the way presentation, what yeah. look good and what don't look the good. The aesthetics. The aesthetics. It's yes, all about the aesthetics, baby. It's all about aesthetics. He gets it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to put it on seven. If y'all have an electric stove at home, we're going to put it on seven. Put it on seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get my camera out so they can see what we're doing over here. You gonna do what? I'm gonna saute baby. Oh, okay. Saute cook, you know. Mm -hmm. Same thing, you know, we just using our words in a very professional manner. Saute. We're about to saute our onions. We're gonna saute our onions. There you go. This is the fancy part. This is the fancy mm -hmm. cousin. This is so the gonna, bougie cousin. I'll take the head off. I'll let you do this one. Same thing, you just gotta be a little bit more delicate just because it's smaller. I'm gonna let you cover my eyes, cover my eyes. I got onions on my eyes. It's okay. Okay, go ahead. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he did that! <laughs> oh, my dear! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm impressed. So, while she's um, cutting this up, we're going to take some vegetable oil and put it into our pasta water just so that the pasta water does not stick. You're going to put vegetable oil in the water? Huh? Just so that the water does, I mean, the pasta doesn't stick. Okay. We're going to add our linguine into the pot. Oh, damn. You're moving too fast. There you go. There you go. Okay, chef. Okay, chef. <laughs> chef. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Well, that's good. I want to make sure that they're like even. Okay, but I'm going to keep the long part out there. Okay, and then. And then, which one should I taste first? Which one's stronger? The shallot. So the shallot is a little bit milder. The onion is a little bit of a raw onion flavor. Okay. So I taste a piece of the onion. Don't talk too much after you eat it. I'm gonna do some mouthwash. And then, okay, that's not bad. Oh, I do taste the difference. You taste the difference? Which one you like better, shallot or the onion? 
Shallow that more flavor. It got a harder kick to it. Damn, my eyes burn. Oh my god. Olive oil, extra olive oil. Really That's why my noodles be all like sticky. Sticky? Yeah, because you don't put no oil in it. Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so oil, water, mm -hmm. and then. Did you put salt in there already? Yep, put some salt you in there. You put sea salt in there, mm -hmm. and then you put the noodles in there, and it's doing its thing. Mm -hmm. So after it's, and it's boiled, do you put it down, or you leave it at high? After it boils? Like after the water boils, so you put it. Are you leaving it on hot just so, so it cooks until al dente? So al dente is like, it's a little hard, but it ain't all the way done. You know what you call it? Al dente. Al dente. Al dente. So what's super soft? Is that a different word? It's mushy. You got mushy pasta. So we want al dente pasta. We want al dente. Which is like. Al dente is like perfectly cooked pasta. It's, okay. It's like the French name for it. Al dente. We we are we are we are preparing some al dente. <laughs> <laughs> what you about to do? You ready? Yeah. What's that? So we're gonna take it with your forearm. I mean, with your forehand, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. That's how you get the paper off. You can't get it off another way. This is like. It's just like the easy way. Oh, it's the easy way, okay. You see how it just came straight off? Yeah. Now try to pull it off without this. Without see how it. easy that is. See how hard it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you bang it with your forearm. Bang I mean, with your palm of your hand. Bang it. You gotta get in there. Let me try it. Can I try it? Yeah, look, let me come. <clears throat> if you right hand, you use your right hand. I'm assuming. No, madam. Oh, that's too strong. Oh, okay. I've seen my grandma do this, and I did not like take mental note on why the hell she was doing that. Okay. And she did tell me, um, when was this? Thanksgiving. <laughs> My grandma, she said, that's not how you do it. You need to learn how, you need to, she told me I need to learn kitchen etiquette. She yeah, played me. You got to know the kitchen etiquette. Yeah, she told me I need to learn kitchen etiquette. You get booted out of <laughs> my kitchen. I'll be like, go sit down, girl. You don't, you don't belong in here. The pressure. You don't belong in here. The pressure. Go sit down. Dude, because I feel like every woman should know how to cook. I'm like, everybody should know how to cook. I mean, like, but when you have a chef, you have a chef or a man, it's like, what do you need to cook for? Like, you can go, like, you can go do something else that'll be useful in the time period, you know? You damn right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, mental note, y'all. Mint means very fine dice, okay? So for the onions, we just chop them up very small. We chop a small dice. Mm -hmm. And then we want mint. Small dice, mint. Cool. Garlic, mint. Got it. Mint to know. Look. Okay. Nice little play. I like it. Nice big play, actually. I'm making a lot. Big play. Big play. Big play. Big play. Don't do nothing, look. Add yeah, ice into the pasta to make sure the pasta stays. Ice, ice and cold water. Ice and cold water. Just so that you stop the cooking process of the pasta because you don't want like mushy pasta. So taste this food. I've never added ice in pasta before. Okay, cool. And then you said, taste it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is perfectly made pasta. That is perfectly made pasta. Not too Tell soft, me. not Tell crunchy. Me. Oh. Telling you. But how, how long was that? Approximately, how long was that? Probably about 10 minutes. Probably 10 about, minutes? Probably about 10 minutes. Oh, hi. Yeah, about After letting it boil. Mm -hmm. Put salt and oil. Mm -hmm. Salt, oil, water, and then strain it, cold water, ice. Cold water, ice. Mm -hmm. That's it's good, too. Pretty much put it in an ice bath. Ice bath. Mm -hmm. to, to stop the cooking process. Mm -hmm. My grandma probably about to be so mad at me. Like, you didn't know that? <laughs> we're gonna put it on about seven and a half, eight. And then we're gonna add our onions in and let our onions sweat into the pan. Okay, I'm learning from the professional. Y'all, I've been, I've been slacking in the kitchen. I thought I was a, a mini chef. Mm -hmm. I thought I was a mini chef. Okay, I'm gonna slack in the kitchen. Y'all, I've been slacking in the kitchen. I thought I was a mini chef. 
You my sous chef for the day. Sous chef. You my sous chef. That's the right word, sous chef. That's the that's the kitchen term. That's the fresh term, sous chef. Sous chef. Sous chef, sous -chef nice. All right, guys, so pretty much what I did was we cut up our, our onions and uh, we pretty much cooked them for about two to three minutes. You want to cook them on a medium to high heat. Um, you just want to be able to smell them a little bit. Then we're going to add our shallots in directly after and we're going to cook our shallots for about two minutes. And then we're going to add some of this freshly minced garlic. As you can see, I have a lot of minced garlic. You just want to go crazy with the minced garlic, go crazy. Some more wine. Add some. Oh, <laughs> I like some more wine. Hold on one second. Hold on. We're gonna let our wine um, cook out of the sauce just for about a minute, um, just because you don't want those strong flavors of wine in your sauce. Um, but the wine does really help, you know, add body to your sauce. So. Um, we're just gonna let that cook for about another 30 seconds. So that's mixed with the onions and garlic. Mm -hmm. okay. So then next you're gonna add your whole tomatoes and your stewed tomatoes. And then your tomato paste as well. You're gonna add it all in at one time. We're gonna add some Badaya Complete Seasoning in there. Sorry? Badaya Complete Seasoning. Badaya, Badaya, whatever you want to call it. I never heard that before, or you did before. Complete Seasoning. It's fire. Mm -mm. Then we got some garlic powder. And I'll give y'all one more hint, some salt. Okay. Y'all can add whatever the rest of y'all, you know, the forte, your repertoire into your, you know, your sauce. Okay. But this sauce gotta stay just a little exclusive. Well, this is new to me. Complete seasoning, sazon complete, complete. Listen, if y'all want the recipe, we're gonna need like, we're gonna need like a thousand likes on this video. Hell you know? yeah. We're gonna need like a thousand likes on the video, then we can spin the block and uh, we'll give y'all the recipe. So if y'all watching this video right now, just comment recipe and make sure you give a thumbs up on this video. We may just drop the recipe for it. That's right. Come on now. So we're gonna get our chicken. The chicken breast. breast. We got the breast. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's the best part of the chicken. It really is. I, uh, some people say that the thigh is the best part. But, you know. That's if you like dark meat. But if you, you like, like dark meat. Oh, I like dark meat. I just don't. I prefer white meat chicken. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, huh? I prefer white meat chicken. Uh -huh. I like the wings and the breasts. That's like my go-to. Which y'all, which y'all, which y'all like? Y'all like dark meat or white meat? Chicken. Y'all like the thigh? <laughs> <laughs> y'all like, <laughs> like the thigh? Yo, you are. Or you like the wing and the breast? I'm a wing and breast type of girl. You are so funny. What are you? Um, they really don't, like, I mean, I, I eat any part of the chicken if you want to be honest with you. Oh, he... Oh, he mixy. He like everything. Yikes. Oh, he like everything. Oh, he too mixy. Okay, okay. I cracked it out. <laughs> that's for my own. That's for my own documents. Okay. Yo, you are so. Hey. <laughs> it's the truth. What? She said you're too mixy. Too mixy. It's okay. All right. Our breast. Okay, so question. Mm -hmm. Do you rinse off your breasts, your chicken, your meat? No, there's really no point. There's no point of. There's really no. There's point. no point of rinsing off. You're your pretty meat. much spreading salmonella, honestly. If you rinse off your meat. I mean, look, this is the thing. So you have different. What I've had to learn, you have different people from different cultures. So a lot of people in the. Um, 
you know, like Caribbean, Jamaican culture, they have to clean out their meat with water, lime, things of that sort. There's nothing wrong with it. You're just, you're pretty much starting a, the brining process when you do things like that, but you're not cleaning the meat. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, running water on raw chicken is not cleaning your meat. Okay. So. Mentally noted. We're going to take the chicken breast and we're going to butterfly it. And butterflying is just taking the knife and just going straight in the middle. Pause. Thank you. Look. That knife cut smooth. No, nah, it really is, though. Yeah. Season our breast. We're going to hit it with a little salt on both sides. <laughs> she did. Can I stop? Yeah, yeah, I um, told you to stop. Oh, I thought you said. When I had tapped your shoulders, I was like, you stop. Oh, okay. Look, my arm's about to fall off. Alright, so I'll what are we doing with this? I don't know how you crack these eggs. Hold on, wait, wait. Can you crack an egg first? Because I feel like I've been cracking the eggs so messy. Yeah. All right, so these my little special seasonings, you know what I'm saying? We complete seasoning, lemon pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, Parmesan cheese grated, and we added some flour. The Parmesan cheese grated is new to me in flour. For real? Yeah. And then you say crushed red pepper, right? Uh-huh, and some breadcrumbs. And some, and some breadcrumbs. And what, this is probably like basic question, but like, what the breadcrumbs are? I mean, the breadcrumbs there just adds another layer of um, crunchiness, texture. Okay. There you go, texture perfect. You get it? I get it. You get it? Yeah. I have granola to my salads just for the texture, you know? I see you. What you need me? You. What you need me to do? What you need me to do? I'm just talking. Okay, what's what we got? Just trying to hype the people up, you know? Okay. Okay, so we just I got the we got the the pan out with the rack and we're gonna I'm assuming put the chicken on the rack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. What you just put in the egg? Don't be some Cajun seasoning. Some Cajun seasoning, okay. Cajun seasoning. I got Cajun in there. That's what yeah. Cajun is. Yeah. <laughs> I got Cajun and I use that all the time. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and put it on this side so we're gonna go, uh, 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 uh. You're gonna press it right there. Okay. You know how to do that. Oh, do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is fun. I don't fry stuff. So, this is like new to me. Like, I don't be frying chicken. I don't fry nothing. And I wanna be able to get into it. I'm saying, I'm gonna broaden my horizon. I'm not making everything. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I never knew this. That's probably why my fried chicken was whack. Because I just did egg and then flour and then that's it. And then put it down. Mm -hmm. So it don't have to be fully covered. Huh? You said what now? It don't have to be fully covered. Yeah, you, you want to, but make sure you cover this first and then you can go back and, you can go back and spin the block. Yeah, okay, okay. So She's I'm gonna be a girl, I'm gonna take it slow. Whoa. I'm gonna take it slow. Whoa. I'm not gonna rush the stroke so she can get it. Hey. Who? <laughs> 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 mm, you. Who? You. Anybody who's watching. Whoa. Whoa. I'm proud of myself. Proud of yourself? Yeah. I ain't never did cut a chicken before like this. I never cut a chicken breast. Go ahead and drop it. We're going to bring it over like this? Yes, ma'am. Just pick it up like this, right? Just place it in there. Salt. Yeah. Like that? All of this going to fit? 
So two at a time. You don't want to overcrowd the pan with too much meat. And what is this called again? Parch. Uh, this is the parmesan chicken. No, no. What do you call it? Oh, shallow fry. Shallow, shallow fry. fry. Mm -hmm. We shallow frying the chicken over here. So we got it. We gonna cook the leggy chicken. We gonna cook the leggy chicken. Uh, we are gonna cook the chicken for about fry. 15 minutes. We gonna shallow fry it. Three to four minutes on both sides, and then we are gonna finish it in the oven with the sauce on top. Nice. Oh yeah. You got it? Mm hmm Finger licking. Is it finger licking? Mm-hmm. Come on, let me taste it. Mm -hmm. One more time. Yeah. But you just the honors to put in the basil on there. We gonna put the do what? Basil. The whole thing? Whole thing. The stem too? Whole thing. It smells so good. Just no, 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 no. Do oh. this for me. Put it all in your hand. Slap that shit. Like smacking the face. There you go. Slap it one more time. One more time. I smell it. <laughs> and then put it in there? And I smell it. Oh, smell it? I mean, I smell, smell it more. Smell yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what happens when you put a little. Oh, to it. Yeah, the oh, to it. And they put it in there? Mm -hmm. This can be like a candle smell, basil. Basil, definitely, for sure. That's not good. Really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Target today. We did. We really seen some of our. And we was Target. we saw her like five times. But we weren't trying to be fanned out. You feel me? That's so lame. We should have said, "Hey, uh, <laughs> baby, I'm, I'm talking, talking crazy. crazy. I need you, you in my space tonight." Same, you know. Come on now. <laughs> I got to put the cheese on the little. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Oh, shit. I don't know. You're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous. I don't know. You're making me nervous. Oh, 
We're gonna say the Italian mozzarella. Oh, we're adding more cheese. Mozzarella. That was the shredded Gouda cheddar and Asiago. Yes. There you go. Ooh, say that again. Asiago. Mmm. Asiago. It's giving culture. It's giving culture. Giving. All right, so we're taking the uh, the, the the mozzarella. You mm -hmm. feel me? We're just um, taking a little block, and then I'm gonna have Miss Nas add it onto our chicken. Go ahead and add it onto our chicken. Add it on top. Add it onto our. Oh, chicken. Right, like that? No, other way. Oh. Why you do it the other way? Just so you can fit more. So look, you can. Mm? Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. You okay, see what I'm going with it now? Huh? You see what I'm going with it? Yeah, I see what you're going with it. I'm going to eat. You're hungry, y'all. You put it in your oven? <clears throat> Can you tell them how long and what we done? Finish it in the oven for about 8 no, to 10 minutes. No, you got to tell them. Oh. At the bottom or the top shelf? Top shelf. Okay. Alright guys, so we have our oven on 425. And we're gonna add our chicken in there. And we're gonna add our chicken in there for about 10 minutes. And it'll be done. You have a perfect crust. Your cheese should be nice, melted, and brown. And just ooey gooey. And then you add some more sauce onto it and... Afterwards? Sorry. Well, I'm learning, I'm asking. You add some more sauce on afterwards. Okay. And it just be ooey gooey. You got that nice brown, cheesy crust. You feel what I'm saying? It's be perfect, I'm telling you. So now we gotta start on our garlic bread and the spinach. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Chef Nas in this thing, you feel me? Sweet chef. Sweet chef Nas. She said I'm assuming my position. No, seriously. What we just did with the bread? All right, so we melted some garlic butter we tossed the bread in the butter and we popped it in the oven at 425 degrees for five minutes just so we get what? Crisp? There you go. Right? Soft on the inside, hard on the outside. Okay, we like to make the plate, right? Big plate of It's all about presentation. It's all about the presentation. Can I see the plate or can I see this? Of course, they can do both. Or they can I know, do this. I know, we, I know they're beautiful people, but. We're gonna spin it. We're gonna spin the block, you did. <laughs> they always spin the block. We're gonna spin the block. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got the chicken parmesan. We got the pasta on the bottom. We got the spinach right up under the chicken. We got a beautiful plate. We got the homemade tomato sauce on top. And what cheeses do we use again? We use Gouda. Mm-hmm. Mozzarella. Mm-hmm. Cheddar. Mm-hmm. And... Asiago. 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 Gouda, Asiago, so, cheddar, and mozzarella. Yeah, it's time to eat. Yeah. It's time to eat, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta do a little test taker. Test taker. Let's test get taker. It. I have, um, I don't doubt that it's good. I love it. I love it. Yeah, this is. Should this, I taste it first? Yeah. She said, I love it. I love it. Dancing, it must be good. She started dancing, it must be good now. I don't even want to talk. Oh, she don't even want to talk. I don't even want to talk. No words. I don't even want to talk. No words, yo. And it's like, 
I taste spices and it's like, I don't feel like we put like a lot of spice in there and it just tastes so good, like flavorful. It do. Mm -mm -mm. This is a dish you can eat to the end of time, you feel me, from the beginning to the end. You know yeah. What I'm it's chicken, it's cheese, it's pasta, and got the veggies. Date night, any night, Monday night, Sunday night, you feel me, for the fam, for your girl. So let me ask you this, quick question. If this was your first meal that you had from a guy, he invited you to come over, how would you feel after you had this? That's my husband. <laughs> I already proclaimed it. That's my husband. I already proclaimed it. Oh yeah, he mine. He Fellas. go nowhere. Fellas, you heard it right here, live and local. Like, if you, if you want to secure the bag for the, for 2020, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 26, to the end of time. I'm gonna do one more bite. Yeah, go ahead, get it, get it to me. Get it to me. Yeah, it's giving. Just in time. case they don't think it's real, you feel me? Nah, this my husband. Mm -hmm. Just in case they don't think. Mm, it's just giving her the heebie jeebies over here, but it's that yeah. good. It's that good. I'm trying to tell you. Mm hmm. Taste it. You got feed me, bro. I got feed So, do you feel like you can cook this on your own now? Definitely. Well, um, maybe not as good as you, but definitely. I mean, I pretty much coach you through it, though. I know, but this is special sauce that I kind of, like, mm. missed out on. I don't know. Uh, I don't right, know. Right. Hey, y'all, that chicken. Woo! Woo! Wait, is there a way for you to get everything? Yo, why is that chicken so good, though? Let me see if you can get everything. I now, if you ever was, man, about the way I'm feeling. Cute. We need some more sauce in there. Need some more sauce? We're trying to be cute. <laughs> We're trying to get everything. You feel me? We got plenty in the fridge right now. I know. Mm -hmm. This is hot though. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Favorite chef, Chef Tyler Thomas. I can check me out on YouTube at Chef Tyler Thomas. I can check me out on Instagram at Chef Tyler Thomas. I can check out my business page at Roosevelt's Catering. We travel chef, travel catering company based out of Charlotte and Atlanta, Georgia. If you want some cooking lessons, just like Miss Naj here, you can definitely get there. You feel me? <laughs> All you gotta do is. Get at your boy. Get at your boy. Get at <laughs> your boy. And you know, you can get a little chicken parmesan. You know what I'm saying? A little, whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we just had to showcase. We had to put it out there in front of you. Yeah. So she didn't already verify me. She didn't already tasted the food that she partially cooked herself. So. Did you call me again? I'm your what chef? Sushi. I'm your sushi. What do you, what, what are you guys waiting on? Come on now. Do y'all see this? Come on now. This was $22, $23.33. Yeah. But this looked like a whole $40, $50 plate. What did you wait on? Seriously. Tap, tap in. We're about to go ahead and enjoy this, and uh, we'll get a child later. It's the memory. I want to see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you just know that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back.